gap. Good timing. They look to pick up three. Oh, that's interesting. He won't take a chance. He'll go for the TV umpire. Out of nowhere, that throw came and hit the wickets. And at first look, Sachin looks to be safely in the crease. That's what he's telling Rahul Dravid. No problem. My bat was in. We'll wait and see. Well, that, this could be very interesting. But Sachin Tendulkar is pretty sure that he's in. As a, as a collision with uh, Shwebahta. Well, that's very, very interesting. I don't think any part of Sachin Tendulkar is in the crease. The bat is definitely in the air. His foot outside the crease. This is interesting. What happened was the bat was going along the ground. In fact, I think it had touched the ground. But then at the time of impact, at the time the ball hit the wickets, the bat was in the air. That's, uh, that is what my reading. Really, that's what my reading is. It's all a bit of a tangle there, the left hand of the screen. But, well, that's the picture that tells you the story. This could be very unfortunate for Sachin. Although uh, Shweb Akhtar's uh, intentions were really to stop that ball uh, from going to the boundary. But it's very easy run that was just came and hit the wicket that doesn't happen too often and that tangle there with the fielder that really was the decider to really feel sorry for this man Tendulkar gone for nine and India now well there you are the whole scene has changed now just what the Indians didn't want Sachin Tendulkar back in the pavilion the score is 145 for three Rahul Dravid still there on 13 Pressure right back on the Indians. Few problems with the crowd. Just a few missiles being hurled. Nothing serious. And quite wise with the players coming onto the middle of the field, away from the boundaries for the moment. Well, they had all gathered here to uh, see Sachin Tendulkar play a good knock. They were disappointed and they're showing it uh, out there in the middle. But uh, nothing serious. Well, there you are, the Pakistani fielders deciding to go back into the dressing room. And really, that's what uh, the Giants screen here says. Calcutta loves cricket. Please maintain Eden's tradition. sure what had happened. This is quite a team. The wiry Sikander Bhatt. Sikander. Back live at the Eden Gardens. Uh, not too much seems to have changed. An attempt to still to say what uh, is the time limit in a, in a situation like this uh, these are not situations that you look for or cater for when you make playing conditions playing conditions are made uh, basically to you know try and help the players out and to, to, to make it that much more easy for everybody around to know that these are the rules these are the playing conditions these are the point systems 
So it's very difficult to say that uh, you know there should be a specific time limit. As I said, uh, it's a matter of uh, being a little patient and uh, trying to uh, let better sense prevail. All right, thank you very much. And we'll of course come back with many more uh, views of some of the guys. Very very foolish spectators should spoil things. 231 for nine. The situation with the match slipping. 48 runs to go, and just that one wicket, and uh, bringing to you this final drama left in the first test match of the Coca-Cola Asian Test Championships is going to be Sanjay Mandreka and with him Ramiz Raja. Thank you Charu. At last we have some action here. Just to update you on the situation, it's 231 for 9. Need 48 runs the Indians. The last wicket. Harbhajan Singh and Venkatesh Prasad, the last Indian pair and a rarity here at Eden Gardens. Look at those grandstands there. It's hardly ever a sight like this at Eden Gardens when you have an international match. Shoaib Akhtar begins proceedings. Pakistan will be hoping to wrap up the match in this over. There's just two deliveries left uh, in this Shoaib Akhtar's over. Who would have believed it? Uh, an hour ago, the ground was humming with uh, almost 70,000 people. Now look at that. Absolutely deserted. It's good to see some cricket uh, to give us the result. Well, he's picked up a wicket, Shoei Bakhtar in this over. And he didn't play so badly, Harbhajan Singh, in the first innings. In fact, scored four boundaries. These are one of the very few left here at Eden Gardens. They are in the clubhouse, most of them. The rest of the stands have just policemen. So that's it, 48 runs to win. It's all up to Harbhajan Singh and Venkatesh Prasad to get them. They're all waiting for the result here. Came in sharply and did well to counter that. 231 for 9. Nothing's changed in the middle. Everything's changed outside the ground. Empty stands but the ball is still moving. Well, he can make that ball to talk. The uh, seam Akram, so very crafty with the old ball. Really a tall order for the number 10 and 11. They need a break. <laughs> He's Quite expected. Akhtar again gets it on the spot and the Pakistanis have won the first test match in the Coca-Cola Asian Test Championship. Miyadad applauds his team and really they've played like heroes. Well, a wonderful achievement by the Pakistanis. They were 26 for 6 in the first innings and not a lot of people would have backed them to win this one. They've done a remarkable job here. Javed Miyadad and Khalid Mahmood all ready to welcome their team back. And yes, they've been sporting, the people who have stayed back. Uh, yes, that's what they do when they win test matches. And they win quite a few. Second overseas win for them, the last one month. Afridi and Moin, Shoaib Akhtar are the lucky ones with the stumps. So there it is, Pakistan win by 46 runs. That's the story from Calcutta Eden Gardens. Sayyid Anwar played that wonderful match-winning innings for Pakistan. 188, not out, carried his back through. He's coming out to uh, embrace Vaseem Akram. Two very important members of the Pakistan winning squad. How many times they've fallen in their team spirit in combination to win them games. And on this Indian's journey, they were up to it. Yes, it was always going to be pressure on the last day. And the team that would handle it better would be the winners. It was Pakistan on this occasion. 
down. Yes, Pakistan now lead the points table. They're 17. India, well, losing out right here, but they still pick up five points. Sri Lanka yet to get off the mark. They'll start their campaign in Colombo. Yes, a lot of congratulations being exchanged. Javed Miyadad to take his team for further celebrations, I'm sure, inside the dressing room. First of all, I'd like to ask Mohammed Azaruddin if he could come up and uh, have a chat with us. Azar. Well, Azar, uh, you'd obviously be disappointed. Six wickets in the first hour of play on the first day and then to lose a test match must not be a happy feeling. Yeah, not very happy because uh, I don't think we played very good cricket. But then still 185 was a good total to bowl out uh, the opposition on the first day. Yeah, I think it was a good uh, thing we did, you know, to get them out uh, for 185. But I still felt that after we reduced them to 26 for 5, uh, we should have uh, put them out within 100 runs. But uh, anyway, we did not bat well in the first innings and as well as in the second innings as well. Well, the same uh, terrific performance. Six wickets down in the first start to fight back from there. It must be a great feeling. Uh, definitely, it's a great feeling uh, and I would like to thank the whole Pakistan team, the way they fought back into the game. Everybody, uh, when we got out on 185, we had a meeting and everybody said they wanted to win this game. So I believe they had a belief in themselves and a lot of prayers back home in Pakistan. And I would like to thank people uh, in Pakistan and over here who have been supporting us. And I believe uh, we really worked hard and in the end we did well. Well, I've got the match referee with me here, Cammy Smith. He's going to be the adjudicator for the man of the match. He's going to tell us uh, why and who is the man of the match. Thanks, Ravi. Uh, this has been a very eventful, but at the same time, very absorbing game. We've had some good performances on the Pakistan side, useful batting by Moin Khan and Yusuf, and also a very good, knock, very good knocks by Ramesh from India. But we've had two very outstanding performances, one by Srinath, 13 wickets in the match is really magnificent. Congratulations. And on the Pakistan side, that terrific effort by Saeed, 188 not out, batting right through the innings. I find it difficult to separate the two performances and I award the man of the match to both of them, their joint winners. Well, Saeed Anwar and Javagal Srinath, if you'd come up please and collect your check of $5,000 from Mr. Steve Heath, the President and CEO of Coca-Cola India Bottling. Terrific performances by both these players. And a check for $5,000. That will be shared. Srinath for his 13 wickets and Saeed Anwar for his 188.